from the Great British Bake Off. It is Clue Lee, Paul Hollywood and Noel Fielding. <laughs> I'm so excited you're on the show. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Tom, for meeting. I'm really good to see you again, Paul. Thank you for being the take Noel, you look amazing, as always. Thank you. Someone else, yeah. So, where are you going to sit? Now, Ollie's going to move along. Yeah. I'm so excited that Prue Leith is on the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for coming on, Prue. Sandy was meant to be with you tonight, but Sandy wasn't well today, no, I believe. No. Is that why? So that's She's in the boot of the car. Okay. <laughs> uh, but this is the second series for everyone except for Paul. Uh, and so I guess, would, would I be right thinking of the tension you might have felt in the first series, taking up from Mary, taking up from Mel and Sue, that must have, that must have evaporated now. You must feel more comfortable in the roles. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Was there a lot of tension? Did you feel kind of like... Do you know I didn't, palpable. really? Palpable tension. Palpable tension. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Thanks for having a yellow sofa, cos I'm wearing a yellow jacket. Yeah. <laughs> you sent me an email. <laughs> <laughs> but you've dyed your hair yellow as well, cos we're used to seeing yeah, you... Yeah, I've got the... yellow boots, so I'm having a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> The builder shouted out, Oi, Flash Gordon! <laughs> <laughs> Why have you gone blonde? Is it because your, your new haircut I'm has divided run. people, hasn't I'm it? I'm on the run. Yeah. <laughs> I look a bit more like Sandy, cos she's not here tonight. I thought, <laughs> <laughs> I'd just borrow her hair, it'd be fine. <laughs> but, so, the, I guess there was a chance, though, because it was a... It, looking back, it seems almost absurd, uh, the way people reacted when they heard the show was moving from the BBC. Yeah, Channel it was 4. crazy. It was absolutely mad. But I, I wasn't too worried because I didn't actually know what a treasure the Great British Bake Off was. And so I just thought, well, yeah, it'd be fun to do that. I'd like to do that. And then when I went and had to have an audition and then another audition and meet this guy and her, and then I wanted to do it. And so I tried really hard. And on the second audition, I thought, well, I'll make a cake and I will, it'll be my technical, and I'll turn up with it, and I'll wow them with my cake. What cake did you think you'd bake? I made a Gugelhof, which is a kind of German yeast cake. Bless you. Cake. Oh, was that a Gugelhof? <laughs> a Gugelhof. <laughs> a Gugelhof. <laughs> and I made this thing, and I, and I, and I turned it out of, the, out of the tin, and it's all very sort of convoluted shape, and it looked great, and I was very proud of it. And my husband came along, and he took one look at it, and he said, That'll never get past Paul Hollywood. <laughs> so I never even brought it to show you. Because <laughs> Although Paul is getting so soft, he just hands out handshakes to everyone these days. Paul, what's happened to you? That's um, weird, wasn't it? Do you know what? Um, I've taken a bit of flack over that. It, it started, I think, back in series two. I just shook someone and said, well done. You know, it's a well done. Um, and this year, the standard every year has got better and better and better. And this year has been phenomenal. I mean, the flavours that some of them are bringing out. If, if everyone, because I guess the standard is, it seems to be getting higher every year, mm. the quality. Mm. So it's get to the stage where you, you're going to be just handing out handshakes to everyone. Everyone's going to be you, great you, each week. You will see, and I think it happens, anyway, it's next week or the following week, um, the handshakes almost stop. Wow. Because what, I, what I've done is I've realised that they're all moving up in standard. I thought, I've got to move my barrier up. So that's exactly what I do. I just raise the bar and then no-one gets over so the top. So you're just not, not letting anyone in no. anymore? So okay. sad, no. the bakers. Yeah. They all want those big brown sausagey fingers coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on the other end of it. It's powerful. <laughs> you think you're not interested, but when that hand comes down, you shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Can you bake? Can you cook, Ali? Absolutely awful. Just Deliveroo, takeaway apps. Oh. Yeah, that's not baking. Deliveroo isn't baking. Yeah, anything, anything. I'm hashtag single life. That's what I'm living. Yeah. So, microwave meals is all I do. Wow. Um, but then, but I know, Pooh, you much. think that everyone should be taught to cook, which is especially kids. Uh, and not only, I, I think they should not only be taught to cook, but they should cook. And it is actually a crime to waste a bit of your life on takeaways. <laughs> I mean, Basically, you're going to prison. <laughs> here, here. Uh, Judge Judy. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. It's like you, it's you like... filthy criminal. <laughs> Sorry, Mum. No, no, there are two things that you should never waste at meal time on bad food, and you should never waste a night of your life on a bad bottle of wine. Yeah. Paul would agree with that. Mm. <laughs> Absolutely. And don't and don't get Pooh started on bad sex. I mean, she no, doesn't no, have no, no, that. I'm all, that I'm all right at. <laughs> okay. I think. Are you uh, sure? You can get that on the Even though I am well, single. I've just been hanging out with Snoop Dogg. He finishes yeah. love. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were at the gym together. <laughs> so, Noel, you got... Because I mean, you weren't a natural... Uh, you weren't anyone's first thought for Bake Off, I would have no. thought. How dare you? But, you know... <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Paul? 
Tell them about the audition you did. <laughs> I think I brought a chair, a David Bowie chair, to the audition. <laughs> Certainly when you're out of your mind. He can't. But actually, me and Sandy got on really well. But I was, when I got the news that I got Bake Off, I didn't know what I was auditioning for. They said, do you want to audition for a show with Sandy? And I said, yeah, I love Sandy. And I know, you know, she does a lot of improv, which I'm a big fan of. So I thought this could work. And then when they offered it to me, I was playing Alice Cooper in a part. I was doing a short thing. And David Suchet was playing Salvador Dali. And I was just sitting there dressed as Alice Cooper. And so he stays in character. He's a method actor, David Suchet, you know, Poirot. And he came over as Salvador Dali. And he said, what's wrong? And I said, I've just been offered the Bake Off. And he went, you must do what your gut tells you. <laughs> it is God's barometer. And I went, yeah. I'll do it! And then he came up later and went, I'm really sorry, that wasn't me, that was Salvador Dali. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have told you not to do it. <laughs> Let me ask Prue, though, there was that awful moment last year, and it was a, a, an accident could happen to anyone, where you tweeted the winner of Bake Off before the show had actually... <laughs> Don't aired. let him bully you, Prue. No, I, well, I felt you. for you, because I could see... No, but it's happened... Would you yeah. like to know what the, who the winner is for this year? I would love to. <laughs> well, I just thought I'd tell. <laughs> no, what happened? What actually happened? I was in Bhutan, and I... We hadn't had any internet connection for about three days. Were you drunk? Yeah, no, I wasn't. <laughs> I, was, I was having a siesta. You were in bed? And I was in bed. Was John and, there? Uh, he was. And <laughs> <laughs> he was Sex asleep. marathon. He was, <laughs> he was exhausted. Fast, he was fast asleep. <laughs> We've all been there. He probably would have prevented me doing what I did. But anyway, what happened was I suddenly saw that I had a message saying, "Don't forget to um, to congratulate the the winner um, after ten thirty. So I looked at my watch. Oh, it's after ten thirty. So I immediately texted it. Oh. And um, 89 seconds later, my PA, who's no fool, had deleted it. Wow. But by then, two people had retweeted it. I mean, I'm an idiot, but there we are. But that must have been just a heart-stopping moment, knowing that... Oh, it was horrible. It knowing was that you'd horrible. ruined it for everybody. I know. <laughs> and, and, and everybody went on to tell me I'd ruined it. You hadn't. Of course you had It actually made it more fun, in a way, you know, because we all know who's won. And this year, it's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm uh, going to give away the winner this year to make Prue feel better. <laughs> right. But no, what was the deal? You got people... I mean, people do love uh, getting cross about things these days, it seems, and they got angry with you last series because you got into a fridge for comic effect. I know. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> I thought it was a wardrobe. I was looking for Narnia. That's where I live. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. If you put a fridge in the room, I will get in it. I'm a bit weird. Like... No, what happens is we film for a long time, you know, long shoots. So most of the time, me and Sandy are just entertaining the crew. So you're just hanging out while we the people cook. imagine that that was going to go in the show. We yeah. kind of did it to muck around on the day. And it was some... hot. It was very hot that day. It was day. really hot. And plus, you know, I'm already dead, so if I don't get in the fridge every now and then, I start to smell, it's a bit horrible for the bakers. You know Ollie's seeing a mysterious blonde, you know who that is, don't you? Yeah. <laughs>